and welcome to this video detailing the new features available to users of Sage 200 Professional 2021 R1. The events of the past year have emphasised the need to be able to access critical business software anytime from anywhere on any browser-based device. This is why Sage are committed to modernising Sage 200 to provide flexible access to key functionality and vital business data. No matter the requirement or working environment, you can respond to opportunities, mitigate risk, input data, and complete vital tasks using a plethora of web-based enabled devices, ensuring that you aren't tied to the desktop. If, like 67% of UK businesses, you're looking to adopt cloud working over the coming year, Sage Cloud Evolution will exceed your expectations, offering you business agility by supporting the modernization of traditional desktop workflows and processes. Sage 200 Professional 2021 R1 represents the largest update to date in terms of making this flexibility a reality. This release includes the addition of a massive extra 31 web forms. That's an extra 31 areas of the program that can be used without the need for a desktop application. That's an extra 31 ways of making your life easier by allowing you to deal with your accounts anywhere at any time. Before we look at the new features, let's take a moment to refresh your memory on how to access the web forms. This can be done one of two ways. You can either access them from within the application by navigating to the tools menu and selecting show web portal in browser, or you can browse directly to the URL shown on screen now. Once we've logged in, you'll be presented with this screen. Here, you can access Sage City to collaborate with the Sage community. You can check our roadmap to view upcoming planned releases. You can give your feedback on anything Sage 200 related using the have your say section and you can see what the popular topics are that people are asking us about. Back to the new features now though. Let's start at looking at the new additional features within the sales ledger. You can now create new and amend existing customer accounts via the web portal. The view customer account screen allows you to see the full customer record. This includes information like aged balance details, contact information, and there is a link to another one of our new screens, the Customer Transaction Inquiry screen. Here you can quickly view all of the transactions with this particular customer. Speaking of transactions, you can now enter sales invoices, credit notes, receipts and payments via any browser as well. If you need to give your customer a price for a particular product, you can now do this using the Customer Price Inquiry screen. Just select the customer account, then the product item, and there you go. The last new feature in the sales ledger is the ability to maintain the customer status. So, if you're out of the office and need to urgently put a customer on hold, then this is easily done. Moving to the purchase ledger, we've added similar options to the ones added to the sales ledger. So you can add, amend and view supplier details. You can record purchase payments and receipts, invoices and credit notes, and you can maintain supplier account statuses. In addition, you also have the option to authorize supplier transactions. So if you're away from your desk and you need to urgently authorize a purchase, then this can be easily done via a web browser. Within the stock control ledger, We've added the ability to view stock item history, check item balances to see how many that you have in stock, and the monthly trading figures for a particular item. You can also view your stock buying prices. You can add or edit your stock locations on the warehouse list, record the transfer of stock between your locations, and even manage your stock take on a tablet or a mobile phone removing the need for all of that paper and cutting down on the possibility of a mistake being made. In the cashbook module, we've added the bank account list. Here, you can record payments and receipts and also view the transactional history for your accounts. If you need to record the movement of funds between your bank accounts, you can do this using the inter-account transfer feature. Just select the account that the money is coming from, the account it's going to, and then fill in the transfer details. Once you click on save, the transfer is recorded instantly. The last new web screen is the Nominal Ledger Transaction Inquiry screen. The Transaction Inquiry screen will show all of the transactions posted to a particular nominal code. 
any associated nominal codes, applicable VAT, whether the transaction affected a cash book account, and if it originated from a trader transaction, such as a sales invoice. Thanks for your time and keep an eye out for future updates as we aren't finished yet. Our end goal is to create a powerful, completely cloud-based solution which can be accessed from any device with a web browser. For more information on Sage 200 Professional, Standard or Education, you can view our online help files here. Or our knowledge base here.